Hi, welcome to another tutorial of Yocto series. In this series, in this video, we are going to learn about the variable assignments in Yocto. There are a couple of uh, different kind of assignments in Yocto. So, and this is the first part of the variable assignment video. And here we are going to learn about the type of variable assignments. So, first of all, we are going to cover these two variable assignments. This question mark equal to and question mark question mark equal to so this assignment is used to set the default value for any variable and that variable can be overridden in later uh, anywhere in the script or in the in any other recipe so this is also a, a default variable declaration but this is a weak declaration what does it mean that what does it mean that if we have multiple these kinds of assignments then for the same variable then the first assignment will be considered and in this the last assignment will be the will be considered so in the next video I will show you how to how to uh, see the variable values and we will see in the example so the second is this equal sign and colon equal sign so what does it mean so this is the simple variable assignment so we it requires the double quotes and in double quotes we write our variable value our value and the spaces are significant it means that if we put if there is no space then there will be no space and if we assign a variable like this then it doesn't mean the null it means one space variable and if, if we do like this then there will be two spaces so the spaces are significant but the variable expanded at the end what does it mean we will show in the example also and here is the same as this but in this the variable are expanded immediately so this is an immediate expansion of variable and the value assigned is expanded immediately so the next is plus equal and equal plus so this is the prepend uh, this is the append operator and this is the prepend operator so this appends the value to a variable for example if I have a value let's say a is foo and if I do a plus equal to bar then the value of the a will be foo and bar so so this operator inserts space automatically we don't need to uh, give an explicit space it will add automatically and it takes effect immediately same as for this operator equal to plus so it prepends and do same thing as this operator it means that it also inserts the space automatically and it does take effect immediately the next is dot equal to and equal to dot these two are also same as append and prepend but the thing is it does not add any extra spaces so we need if we want a space then we need to add by our, our own self otherwise it is same as these two operator but there are no spaces and it also takes effect immediately we will see in the example what does it mean and the last is colon append colon prepend and colon remove what does it mean so this also appends the value to the variable it also insert it also does not insert any space it means there is no space so in that it is same as this so there is no space in between but the thing is that takes effect at the end of the variable exp expansion this we, be, uh, we will also see in the example what does it mean and in the prepend it prepends the value and with no spaces if you want a space we need to add by our, our own self and it also takes effect at the end of the expansion variable expansion and the last is the remove so this removes the value from the list if a very if a variable contains a list of values and we want to remove the value any value so this removes it from the list but it also uh, it removes uh, specific uh, specifying that the value so its removal will of all occurrence for example if you have the same value multiple times so it will remove all the occurrence of that value and it will be also done at the end of the variable exp expansion so in this second part of this video we will 
learn about uh, these two we will see the example of these two uh, these two uh, assignments hope you like the video